baddest I just had tweeted this photo, just a, or posted this photo about a tweet a minute ago, but they're a little like headline up, or the picture above the headline is Bieber wearing some like fur jacket that it makes me super anxious that I don't want him to be in Star Wars at all. He's going to be in Star Wars? I don't know. I have to, re I have to read the article, but I mean, I just saw also today that they, um, there's a Mission Impossible 5 yeah. is set to really be released a week after Star Wars is going to come out. And so they also had like a picture on there about like the two entities are going to be fighting. It's like it's Star Wars is going to win. There's no way that like yeah. Mission Impossible is going to make any money. How could you even call them two entities compared to each other? Like Star Wars is a Mission it's Mission Impossible 5. I mean, it's you know, it's it's raking up the numbers. I mean, it's I don't <laughs> think it's tired and true brand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so they keep it. making them, people keep going to see them. I hey, last one's pretty good. I mean, it was that was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't great, but mm. I'm not upset if I never see another uh which is a Boston movie, but oh. I'll go check it know. out when I see that, it. That's almost my same review for <laughs> episode three of Star Wars. That, <laughs> <you know. Good> <laughs> <job>. <laughs> I mean, really? I mean, no, I, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, Star Wars, it's a you know, cultural phenomenon, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's really sad that, I mean, I feel bad for the movie series to have to go like that weekend or like any time like around there. It's mm -hmm. going to be, it's going to suck for them. So no matter yeah. what they put out there, even if it's something like, like a Marvel movie, even. But I don't really like all the Scientology propaganda that happens in those Mission Impossible movies. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Yeah, I mean, I, um, I don't know. I don't think that anything really stands a chance. There's, there's no money-making franchise that's going to be able to go up against yeah, big Episode Seven. Oh, I mean, yeah, so. You know, especially if Justin Bieber is going to be at the helm, which I haven't which even. I don't think it's true. Yeah. So I, I, I don't even know. <laughs> but even I think if he's pulling a fast one on you, Matt. No. Even if he oh, was. So even, sorry, I finally get to read the article. So it says, okay, it's a misleading headline, sort of. After all, the above photo tweeted by Bad Robot does reveal the presence of a crucial character, but it wasn't. It wasn't Bieber. It's R two D two. That's jerks. Yep. R two D two. They are already yeah. getting us. Internet up, wins again, yeah, Matt. Yeah. 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 Trolled by the. <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to be one of us, um, but at least that's good. I'd rather have R two D two and a million times than Justin Bieber. How Star Wars saturated do you think this next Christmas is going to be? I mean, they already had that crazy Verizon commercial. Was it Verizon? Do you mean like this this Christmas or? Yeah, coming up for like in thirteen or months. Yeah. yeah, I I don't think. I mean, maybe a, a little bit, but nothing close to the This is going to be the way it's, it's been, like, every year. Yeah. I mean, th no matter what, they always have, like, a new Lego set that they can afford. And, yeah, and stuff like that, so. Yeah. I mean, Clone Wars are still really Yeah, I mean, they still have cartoons like and yeah. stuff, yeah. But, I mean, but next year. Oh, I mean, it, well, yeah. Well, I mean, 14, 15, whatever it comes out. You think yeah. it's going to slowly get, like, it's, of course, slowly get bigger, like, every year until it finally comes out, right? And it's going to be. Yeah, I mean, you know I mean? We're, we're just starting to see. I mean, look at this. I mean, it was one, one picture yeah. of, like, four guys. Yeah. You and know, you're freaking out about it. So. <laughs> and the movie's not hey, even man. filming it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. wasn't like the guys from NSYNC in the, old, the other ones or something like that? Like, you barely have to have a pulse to be in Star Wars sometimes. But. Yeah. Just a famous name. Yet it's still a cultural phenomenon. What is hey, going on? Hey, the original on? ones were the new ones are kind of... But, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... I addendum. <laughs> well, it was like episode one. There was like the huge pod racing stadium that they fit like yeah. E.T. Mm -hmm. and, you know, like... Great they actually groups. got like... Warwick Davis, uh, you know, some FaceTime just really? to be in the crowd, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, he's standing there next to... Um, something CG. Yeah, yeah, really something CG. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's... Um, I can't think of what the heck the, the the guy that owns Anakin. Oh. What the hell's his name? Yeah, the mildly racist... Uh, yeah. Slave owner, yeah. yeah. Slave owner, <laughs> Arab, yeah. elephant That's what it was, yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about? Flying There's, guy. <laughs> Star Wars isn't full of racism. What are you talking about? <laughs> what about the Trade Confederation? <laughs> oh, you mean those guys that, yeah, look exactly like the Chinese stereotype. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. That's why I love Star Wars. <laughs> That's why it's your cultural phenomenon. I mean, really, there's so many things that are wrong about it, and the you know story has plot holes and all this stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, incest, you know, the brother and sister. It's like he was making it up, like he was writing pages, and then they were. Going out to shoot it. And the the alien yeah. Sambo, uh, Jar Jar. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. There was um, there was a deleted scene that was released recently that uh, shows Jar Jar getting killed as oh, yeah. soon as they surface um, in Naboo at the the save the princess. That, um, really? Or the queen, whatever. That uh, yeah. That he gets stuck in the boat. That seems like really like 
dark for like Lance was like really dark for like yeah like, yeah and I thought it was just gonna be like some like fake or whatever which actually you know after I already got fooled by this one article this one article be, that yeah. really this first internet was fooled you I've never <laughs> been fooled by the internet never uh, I got a question for you Matt what's up what possessed you to wear that awesome T-shirt that you're wearing today it's the next one on the rack. It's getting know. me all yeah. hot and bothered. <laughs> it is a more so the matter he does. It's now yeah. he has a shirt. Yeah, it's just but the next. It was the next one in line. Yeah, all right. they're all okay. uh, alphabetical. So you know where. I really feel like you lift all your shirts today. like in days. Like these are the Monday shirts. These are Tuesday shirts. This one feels like a Wednesday. Well, no, that's a Wednesday shirt. Yeah, that's yeah. a Wednesday shirt. Yeah. That's cool. No, I don't have. Uh, nothing's really labeled. It's just. I mean, I could have wore this shirt yesterday for all that matters. I mean, it's you don't like, write your name on your on your underwear, so you find it. No. You go to camp instead. <laughs> when I go back in time and get hit by a car in front of my mom's house, and she starts calling me Calvin Klein, no, yeah, it's not gonna happen. Oh, yeah. Mr. Fruit, uh-huh. Mr. Fruit of the Loom. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, she's hot, <laughs> Mr. Loom. Do you? I don't know. Kelly Kapowski. Yeah. So, do you have a screech shirt that matches? I Maybe don't in know. a bright. I, I don't. I mean, I didn't even. I didn't yellow? go to the store with the intention like I'm leaving my house. I'm gonna go buy a Kelly Kapowski shirt. It was. You know, wandering out. I have a hard time believing that, Matt. <laughs> why, why are you shattering my it's, it's, image of you? What it, it's what it happens to everybody. I walked into Target to go buy something else, and then I walked out with a dozen other things. You know, like mm-hmm. this, except what you needed in the first place. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's like I go in and start browsing the the clearance section, and it's like three dollars. All right, I'll, I'll get a Kelly Kapowski shirt. That's I cool. just appreciate that it emphasizes the relevance of neon colors and modern fashion today and that you're part of that movement it oh just, thank you yeah. i appreciate the fact that you meant to buy three dollar t-shirts so <laughs> <you go> <laughs> it was on clearance i mean that's that was you'd the, be a sucker not to buy it yeah really yeah. i mean yeah uh but uh what's name arthur out there he's got a camp on a one t-shirt yeah so that was pretty should funny should make arthur oh, come man. in here just for the cameo that's yeah. true you should mm-hmm. put a camp on a one make a theme awesome. song yeah camp on a one Camp on Oana. I, I won't sing anymore. That's not, yeah, a, that's I not it that's at all. It goes all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't want to embarrass you guys by singing prowess. So I'll stop. It was a great cover for. I don't know what the rest of the lyrics were. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, childhood's cloudy. I don't know. If, if, I think right now it's a lot cloudier than, than usual. So. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's cloudy. <laughs> yeah. Say so if we had a, a couple drinks, I'm sure we could probably get uh, the three of us to sit there and sing the theme song, but not yet. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what it even Try. is, but I don't remember. Yeah, uh, not I'd, to slur on words. Yeah. I'm not gonna sing it, but I totally like I could. You do yeah. sing yeah. it. I can I can hear sing it. In my it. Head right no, now. I, I it's trust. Not, it's not I, I trust Matt. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's not happening today. But yeah. Matt doesn't sing. Yeah, I anticipate this happening uh, <laughs> on camera. A- after, after. Yeah. yeah. Oh, afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Parking lot footage, Matt in his car singing song and stuff. <laughs> it's, it's a playlist on my phone. Yeah. I was listening to it on the way here. It was you know followed by. Oh, well, hey, dude. Yeah. You know, yeah. Oh, man. Hey, dude. Now we're talking. Yeah. You had to put on your, uh, what was it, 90s uh, team, uh, TV theme show uh-huh. CD? What was it that they started playing them on, like, Noggin or whatever? It was playing all those, like, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah, they did have, like, the like, flashback or yeah. whatever. Something yeah, like that. The, the 90s were all yeah. that or whatever. Yeah. That's what it was. What so. shows fit those uh, niches today, like, for, like, Kids really modern de- oh, well. yeah. You know, I know you know. It's all that, I mean, there really isn't anything that I feel like has the same weight that those kind of shows. Well, or whatever, because you're you, not 13 anymore, but well, I'm sure but, some but you have year like, out there is watching the something wiz- that's doing the same thing for him. Mm-hmm. But you have like the Wizards of Waverly Place and all those Her. other like Disney shows that, I mean, they're... Disney. Yeah. yeah the Disney's really churning them out that I don't know. I can't think of any live action Nickelodeon shows that are of this, the same caliber as... Same well, I mean, step by step, like yeah, the yeah. TGIF stuff. The but I mean that wasn't you know. for like children. I mean, it came on like on Friday nights. I mean, mm-hmm. I think it's different than what he was talking about because I think the other shows came on like earlier, right? Like all the other. I remember they were like on during the day. I mean, I think they're like I on like know. all day long, obviously. But I mean, mm-hmm. I think the other shows were. I see what you're going for like they're not as good as like Disney or yeah, Disney shows like ABC and stuff. Well, but I, th- I think maybe we're, we're they're, they're, crossing too many things. Yeah, like, too many. Yeah, too I'm not many. Like, compare, we're not talking about sitcoms <laughs> not and like dramas. Family too. Matters right. and like Boy Meets World to Camp on Awana. Whatever. So. Uh, well, we could. I mean, those ones are pretty easy. Yeah. I mean, I suppose like say like that and like I got nothing. Actually, can't think of better things. Yeah. So you're right. Yeah. No, they're really, really. Yeah, they're not. I don't. Know, I think they're, they're not really the same. But. So ultimately, shout out Doggy Lips. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Man. Really throwing the obscure <laughs> reference there, yeah. Who cares? Yeah. That's the best. Um, I remember seeing something of like the child stars, like where are they now, whatever, and they showed um, 
the redheaded guy on there. I can't think of how like, his name was, but he they showed uh, him now, what is and his name? he looks just as much of like a bully <laughs> as as he did then or whatever. What was it Bud Budnick? Yeah, yeah, it's not right. Yeah, I sold your shorts. I don't yeah. know. All right. I'm gonna We're getting deep now. <laughs> yeah. If only there was a database online we could access. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tip tap. Tip, I don't know how to spell tip, 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 tip. camp on a wanna. Well, it'd be salute your shorts, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, salute your shorts. What the heck am I? I don't know, dude. You're the guy's computer. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> High off of water. Clouded, <laughs> clouded by Save the Bell. <laughs> yeah. You got me all hot and bothered talking about Kelly Kapowski. <laughs> your sexy T-shirt. That's not even how the song goes either. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I have music in my head. Yeah. It's you're like, uh, crack music. You're like uh, Jack Black from uh, <laughs> from Be Kind Rewind, just trying to sweed <laughs> Ghostbusters, and he's just singing. The, he's like, I'm singing the Ghostbusters song. No, that's that's not it at all. <laughs> what you gonna do about Ghostbusters? <laughs> There's Eddie Donkey Lives Gelfin. Yes. And, yeah, and then. Um, Bobby Budnick. Bobby Budnick. Yeah. But, what uh, an unfortunate name. Yeah. Well, it's also a fake name, but. But really, like, I don't know. <laughs> an unfortunate name. <laughs> <laughs> it's fictitious, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, man. But that um, uh, donkey lips, I mean, on the, I don't know. It seems like such an unfortunate name right there. If you Budnick. were going to go on a TV show and they told you your name was going to be Donkey Lips, would you? Probably yeah. go the <laughs> I need money, so yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I was a striving actor. You'd be Doggy yeah. Lips. Michael money. Bauer. Hey, man, but you still remember that from <laughs> yeah. 20 true, years man. ago. So, yeah. it is so a let's see what else is Michael phenomenal. Bauer done. Yeah. Um, he, hey, he was in Star Wars The Old Republic, the video game. Oh, really? Yeah. I remember him in that game. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> you remember him? Yeah. Him. <laughs> yeah. He's actually done a little bit of voice acting here. It was a Halo 3 ODST. Let's see what else here. Just gonna watch Matt play the computer. Yeah, I'm just gonna you know just talk amongst yourself. I'm gonna <laughs> Raving, read. I'm gonna read through his filmmaking here, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> read through his stuff here. Hey, he was in Doogie Hauser. Man. Oh man, yeah, he's that's he, crazy. Oh, you know, and that might have been before Salute Your Shorts. That's that, that's what got him. Is that's that uh, debut his breakout role. Gig, yeah. yeah, mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, Doogie. Oh. Yeah. Another so unfortunate fictitious oh. name. <laughs> <laughs> Doogie Hauser, But again, yeah. they're doing their whole job of making him, it's a stupid name so you remember it type of thing. Yeah, so, I guess. And you do remember uh-huh. it, so yeah. Yeah. Like if there was a show named Matt Hackney, no one would remember that too, wouldn't it? Uh, <laughs> there was uh, a show okay. named Matt Hackney. And see, nobody remembers it. See? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would make There's it. There's even a spinoff. <laughs> I would make an attempt at remembering. <laughs> oh. But, uh, yeah, so Doctor Who next week. Are you guys pumped? Is that the, uh, the, fi- the 50th anniversary? Or the 50th, yeah. yeah. So it's going to be the, the day of the Doctor with mm. the... The crossover, so they're going to yeah, show 9 and 10 and, yeah. and 11. And, well, I guess it's I thought they're doing like 11 all and 12, 13, whatever. I think they're doing all the ones that are like still alive, I think. I mean, that's the way I would do it. Yeah. I, saw, oh, I saw a promo that had, um, so John Hurt, mm-hmm. or sorry, William Hurt, and um, David Tennant, and mm-hmm. Matt Smith. So I had all, all of them in it. But that's, but he's supposed to be the, the, the ninth. The Christopher Eccleston is supposed to be really the 10th okay and then david Tennant's no, yeah, yeah. whatever so everybody's like shifted right so this new guy those guys all have very boring british names i don't know i'm just thinking about people's names today what you're, you're just upset that cumberbatch wasn't the the next doctor no that's not a boring name benedict cumberbatch yeah, yeah there's all kinds of stuff going on with uh-huh. that name yeah you have his uh his cumberbitches yeah the, wow. uh, the the following yeah mm-hmm. oh that's pretty oh. yeah there's k yeah it was uh, it was like Graham Norton show or something like that um, where he was on, and uh, they had him and uh, Christopher Pine. They were promoting Star Trek, and they called the Chris Pine fans their Pine Nuts, and they asked wow. him, was like, so what do you call? What do they call your fans?" And he's like, "I don't want to say." And so they finally got him to admit, it's like Cumber Bitches, and then everybody in the crowd went nuts, and <laughs> they just like one by one went into the crowd and gave these like ladies hugs and asked them where they were from, and like they were from like all over the world, like crazy, like you know. 18 hour flights just to come to that one taping to oh, off yeah. chance that they might see, you know, that's crazy. the cover bitch. Huh. Yeah. But uh, he's going to be smog. He's doing the voice, uh, yeah. He's doing the voice, but it's also mm-hmm. motion capture for his face, which is, I think, unnecessary. I don't it's like a dragon. It. Yeah, it's I think his face is, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know the guy, so I don't want to personally like offend him, but he kind of looks like an alien. He's got like a wig wide space between his eyes. 
And they don't need to translate in that into <laughs> 3D dragon. That's all I have to say about that. Seriously. Well, I think it'd make more sense if you look like a regular guy. And it'd be harder to make him look like a dragon, I think. But if he's weird as you say he is, then... He does. You know. I mean, I don't see how people think he's attractive, but... Well, here, this little... Different, different strokes for different folks. Yeah. There you go. Is that him? That's him in the motion capture setup. Oh, you pulled that yeah. up really fast on the computer. So, yeah, because like I remember seeing it. Somebody yeah. posted it on, on like Reddit or whatever. It was called uh, <laughs> his O-Face. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's I a shot. It. <laughs> oh, it's a shot like mid mm. mid uh, capture or whatever from. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I don't know. It's um, yeah. That's pretty. That's an intense setup. I mean, you're really like because it is just your face as the dragon that you're. I mean, he's in this chair that's got like his head wedged in and. 50 dots over his face to capture all the intricacies of the muscles of his face moving and all that. Yeah. What are the dots made He blows made fire of? and has like... I don't know. Out. Yeah, I don't know what, what these are, whatever, but um, uh, they used to use the big like ping pong balls or whatever that they had to use and now I think the technology is so much better that it can just be Little just thing. dots, yeah. Hmm. It just anchor points for them to build the wireframe on. But, uh, yeah, they... Um, there were some prank that like Simon Pegg did when I was shooting Star Trek Into Darkness with him talked about um, it was some like ion cream or something like that and he just gave him like regular like suntan lotion or something like that it was some something silly but like okay. he Simon tricked like three or four people into doing it because they'd never been to the United States especially like Death Valley mm -hmm. or wherever there mm -hmm. was out in the desert where they were shooting some of the scenes and uh, he tricked them all into putting this ion cream on them so they don't get burned by the ions from the sun. And he just made up this oh, whole wow. story. And it being at, like on a Star Trek set, like it's you know it's probably hearing more complicated like scientific stuff, terms. Yeah, yeah it'd be yeah, all these made up whatever yeah. phrases. But uh, yeah, he got them all to believe it. And so they're walking around. It's like, hey, do you have your ion cream on? And, it's like, really and he finally said it to somebody. He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and then they realized what was going on. But yeah, that's uh, twin ion engines. I bet they're talking about no. that on the Star Trek. No, they're they're past ion engines. Yeah, no. <laughs> they're past it. Yeah, I'm so behind in fictitious technology. <laughs> oh. I can't keep up with all these advances advances in fictitious <laughs> I need to technology. Study more. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, really, that whole you, know, you go look at like Star Trek or whatever, and they have these like outlandish, you know, whatever ideas, and then so many of them are based in real science. Yeah. yeah, but well, uh, you know, I wait for the transporter. No, I'm not gonna be a really bad idea. I think. <laughs> Why? I just think it's like there's like too big of a gap for like a uh, error. Well, think of like all something's gonna go wrong. Yeah, it's yeah, like, like like yeah, the fly. Everything. Yeah. You know, did we like did we only hear about every transporter accident on the show, or did we only catch the fraction of the yeah. transporter accidents that happened? I mean, how many times were there <laughs> the important two stuff the people, yeah. or two people were suddenly merged into one, or you had like the, you know... Inside out or something. Sp or, yeah, yeah, split personality, whatever stuff, and, you know, there's just, there's always, there's always something that's going to go wrong. It's always yeah, something... so like, I don't want to, like, yeah. run the risk of that right there or anything, so... No. Yeah, so there's <laughs> always, you know, but I mean, not even necessarily, like, transport. It's like the, you know, the holodeck... Yeah. malfunctioning. No, it's all like, Suddenly yeah. everybody's real and, you know, the, the safeties go <laughs> off. And I'm already like borderline <laughs> on the internet already. Horrible like, technology. Yeah, it's probably a bad idea, but yeah. I, don't know. I, I can't imagine more than that. Oh. I don't yeah. know. We're, we're, getting, we're getting close to all sorts of random stuff like this Oculus Rift, whatever, just came out. There was an article from like last week of an adapter so that like there's a game that will, I think the, the phrase was manually stimulate somebody based mm. off of the game. They're like, they program in the movements to the device. So they show the device sitting on the shelf, and it's got these arms that come out, and it's just moving up and down. And then they cut to, there's a guy. This all sounds suspicious. There's a guy <laughs> on. It's like at CES, like it's at a, at a convention. Like there's people walking around. Better, yeah. So this is what's really funny. So you see just the shelf of this device is moving up and down, and it pans over to the computer, and you see this little like caricature of a person is moving their hands up and down. And then it pans over, and then there's a dude that's sitting like two feet away with the Oculus Rift on his head, uh, and but he's just sitting there. And so the thing is moving up and down, no, and then I, he's yeah, watching it. it. Yeah. And then there were like ten people just walking casually by, like that there, seems it, like really. It's, it's super awkward. Yeah. Like, why would you release this as an article of like? Why would you even be the guy to like want to sit at the convention? 
Yeah. And it wasn't at like and repping that stuff. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. even like at AE or anything like that. It was just at a regular like electronics <laughs> convention. Like check out our weird advancements yeah. in Kirby technology. It's like, yeah. hey, look at this. You can come over here and you you know you can tweet whenever you need milk from your fridge, and you know you can go and create a list of all the things you can make with the items in your fridge. Oh, and then over here, here's a device that will manually stimulate you. Yeah. Manually <laughs> stimulate. Yeah. See, it's like in the future, man. Uh, <laughs> you can tweet from your fridge, and then you can have sex with robots. You know, the day mm. we live in. Yeah. Again, I, I don't trust that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seems like too many things go wrong. <laughs> like very easily. Yeah. yeah. The the sensitivity goes to max suddenly, oh, and. Okay. <laughs> you've, been thinking about, about, <laughs> you've been thinking about this detail yeah. how, how many other devices thinking to then, or waiting save up that money you're, you're right though if, like think of like everything else is supposed to work properly right that doesn't yeah sometimes and, my cell phone drops out like signal loses signal yeah I don't want that happening I'm having sex with a robot and just like blows up or something that <laughs> seems like a really bad idea yeah, but, yeah. or like uh, you, you get the lines crossed and you're supposed to be Hook up the lady, and then suddenly yeah. there's a dude on the other line. Yeah. Well, you know. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> some, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, okay, so I'm not good at this. <laughs> Maybe some people like that to happen, you yeah. <laughs> so, Surprise, there's a guy on the other line. <laughs> that already happens half the time. You look at like these chat roulette like joke videos where you see, oh, it's like cleavage, and then they pull back, and it's a dude with like his arm. like. Uh. There was um, fooled by the internet again. Yeah, <laughs> there was a whole like channel I saw of a guy just had prank videos like that, where he like lures somebody in and then he comes back and he's like this like grizzly looking guy with a crazy beard and long hair and everything and he just like laughing, laughing, laughing. One of the best things I ever saw on the internet was <laughs> <laughs> this crazy thing called porn. You heard no, you guys no, ever heard no, about no, before? No, it's pretty all. awesome. No, no, no. It's all in there. Oh, yeah, come on. Now. Anything you want in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a uh, site. Yeah. Of a uh, photography uh, that people sent in of themselves eating food and crying at the crying same while time. eating. Yes, that was one of the yeah. best websites I've ever seen in my life. Sometimes I cry when I eat, <laughs> just because of that <laughs> website. I'm serious. No, it, I, it's I've, a life changer. God, that was like 12, 15 years ago. I remember seeing that for the first time. It was cryingwhileeating.com. Yeah. yeah, and it was just. 30 second clips of people like eating chips and just bawling or like <laughs> somebody like, and then eating a sandwich <laughs> quietly and murmuring and it's like god it's so moving it's <laughs> and like uh, I've never felt so human before there was a clip That's of disgusting uh, <laughs> <laughs> was it disgusting was you're it? disgusting <laughs> wait a minute you're like, disgusting so there's, <laughs> there's like 30 clips of like all these people eating and crying and then down at the bottom was Homer Simpson like eating like Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a clip from the show of him, yeah. like you. Oh, uh, Pinchy, whatever the lobster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gives him a bath. Oh yeah, and he's like, <laughs> he goes to get the lobster okay. the bath, and then he cooks him. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a nice hot bath, and yeah. then yeah. And so then later they're sitting at the dinner table, and everybody's plates are empty, and Homer is sitting eating Pinchy by himself, crying. So, yeah. <laughs> so he would have wanted it this way. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Oh, uh, and of course, since they did it. I yeah. wonder why. Of, yeah, really, of yeah. course, yeah. What? Well, I wonder why what? I wonder why. Why you like watch people cry and eat? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's <laughs> weird. <laughs> it's not weird. It's crazy. It was. A, it's something very memorable. I don't know. What was the yeah. most memorable thing that you've seen that's not, you know, completely X-rated? On the internet? Yeah. I don't, well, think, I don't think I have, like, one certain thing, though. Because like, it's all X-rated? <laughs> yeah. Well, that too, but <laughs> all no, the X-rated the, things burned a hole. That you, <laughs> you can just only push everything them. else out of the internet. Yeah. All my other internet memories. Uh -huh. Um... No touching puppies or kitty stories or no, that's weird. Um, squirrels riding. <laughs> no, he, squirrels, he, water skiing, he meant water touching skiing. like yeah. it touches your heart. Not okay, somebody not touching. in a weird way. Yeah. Not in okay. that weird robot yeah. manual yeah. way. Yeah, no <laughs> manual simulation, nothing like that. Okay, Oculus. let's go way off the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Went rails down. <laughs> I was trying to tell you guys a sweet story. You guys ruined okay, it. So All right, no, no, no. Let's just retain the space for sweetness. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I don't really have one. <laughs> it would be like I saw this like the you know, the stupid like the. Um, the monkey like scratches his ass and the sniffs and falls over. <laughs> it's just a cat like the cat that jumps and misses the box and falls over. It's a mm. lot of falling. That's the thing of what it is. It's like dumb videos, which uh -huh. I mean, that's what the internet's made for. But I mean, yeah. but no, that's probably like my the one thing that I take away from the internet. The one thing I take away from the internet, really, besides Facebook, is uh, <laughs> it's mm. funny videos. Just the, mo the monkey scratches. How many? How many like dumb like videos are online? Uh -huh. So well, it used to be like not like research or anything like you know news <laughs> like keeping up with friends. No, yeah. it's dumb animals. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was like the, you know, it used to be difficult to go find like these dumb videos. Yeah. You know, where you yeah, have to like, go to like 
Well, this site the had some. The weird sites of, like, had the had internet. Some, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but that monkey's scratch at its butt, whatever, was, like, the first video I only ever saw on the internet. And then I suddenly saw it was in, like, I think Austin Powers or something like that. That it was actually in, like, oh, some other, movie. like, mainstream media or whatever. Right. And it was, like... I don't know. Other people have seen this? What's yeah. going on? Yeah. I thought this what? was my thing. Yeah, yeah. I, got the, I, I thought I found <laughs> that all in E-Bombs world, right? I, you guys never been there, right? Nope. Nobody went to that site. Yeah. yeah. I actually never did go to that site because, yeah. oh yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, it's E-Bombs world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you ever go there? I mean, yeah. yeah. I think maybe like when I was, but I mean like, I also didn't do a lot of stuff on the internet for like a really long time. Oh. Sorry, why? Um, but no, like I remember the ads, like whenever I go to like college parties, like, you know, like buddies places. And there's like be like there'd be like you know party going on the, like at the rooms there's just people like the computers like cracking up at like you know all the dumb videos. Yeah. But it's like I remember like there'd be something else going on and like what's going on in the back room and like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like yeah. I mean, it was a million random places, not just e bombs world. But right. Like, I know. Stu- like, Stupidvideos.com yeah. was like a big one that like whenever I, I I was hanging out with somebody who knew way more about computers than I did at the time or watching them like I'm trying to watch one at a time it's taking forever to to buffer and to load and I'm just having to like hit pause. And come back 20 minutes later, and then we can watch this 15 second clip. But like, he was going through, and he was able to look at the code for the site and sort of ripping them all. So within like uh, like overnight, he had mm. every website or every video they had on the website downloaded. And so I just carried that around for years, of, like my dumb videos. And then it just became like these are dumb videos. Why the hell do I have these? Now? <laughs> Why do I have yeah. nine gigs yeah. of dumb videos? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't need 12 videos of a penguin. Tripping and falling you know, down the ice into the water. Well, you need a couple, but yeah. <laughs> For those gloomy days. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. But that, that's really like all the internet is. You look at like Reddit or Image or whatever, mm-hmm. and it's like dumb this funny cat, stuff. cat like, videos yeah. and things like that. And, you know. Goofy lists of what remember, you know, what you remember when you were a kid or something like that, mm-hmm. or 10 scariest movies or 10 dumbest scariest, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. But it's really yeah. like a big right now is lists. And like the last couple of years, it's really taken off like these bu- BuzzFeed articles of like. Yeah. Top top ten this, top twenty that, whatever you know. It's just it's seen a lot of like nostalgia stuff. That there's a right, lot of right. people that like run everything that are our age and they're mm-hmm. you know late twenties or whatever that are becoming reminiscent of like like the Sandlot had their twenty year yeah. anniversary. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, I understand. But I think it's the thing with lists. <laughs> I think you're mad at lists. You're mad. <laughs> I'm mad. Well, you seem like you're like upset about lists. I see a lot of lists. It's like well, you complaint about it. Well, there's not like really like, list, like an yeah. article, but everybody's just putting out a list. Right. Like it's all so. bullet points. So there's no real. Well, that's the, and that's the, that's the whole lure is that it's like mm-hmm. it's super straight to the point. Mm-hmm. There's like no, you know what I mean? There's nothing yeah. to like. Well, you don't have to make a large commentary. You just like kind of like rank things, and I don't know. I think it's kind of lazy. Yeah. Lazy right you. That's that's I mean. It's, it's, but, but it's like it's lazy, like. Not really on, on the writer's point of view, but it's like, but that's what, you, they know people are lazy and they're not going to sit and read a four-page article, well, but, but they'll it, read a four-bullet, you know. This is top. another problem with the internet, right? <laughs> if you have Here an opinion <laughs> that is worth something or that you believe is worth that much, what about a paragraph? A paragraph for every bullet point? Mm-hmm. I mean, come on, bullet points, uh, what am I, mm-hmm. that's for speed and efficiency. That's not for having an opinion. <clears throat> but everybody wants to have a speedy, Efficient opinion, so it's just right bullshit. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Sorry, going off yeah. the rails. Yeah. No, I mean that's what like I don't know. You go look at like Cracked or Buzzfeed or whatever. They're all you know. Sometimes they have articles. Sometimes they they have the bullet points or whatever. But one of them just started releasing videos. Hmm. And so like Vine videos. Well, no, like it's um like instead of an article, it's mm-hmm. a video. So they go put somebody in front of a green screen and they just act out what, whatever the article is supposed to be. So they just it's they some, act out the article. Well, yeah, like really, well, it's it's supposed to be like you know some top ten list, and it's somebody introducing all the ten items rather okay. than like you just go to go read an article. Mm-hmm. Here's a five minute video, hmm. and I don't even. <laughs> so the video them showing videos. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you've the never internet's s- a crazy uh, place. Apparently you've never seen television. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my rotation. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's changing. Yeah. You went straight from books to the internet. You yeah. skip, skip television. Yeah. There was like paper and pencil in the middle there. Yeah. So, but um, I don't know. As speaking of television, is there anything you guys are watching recently? Anything new? Anything you're going back to? Uh, I started Arrow um, last last week, I believe. Last week, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. I mean, I heard from a bunch of different people that. Uh, uh, it's good, and so on. I guess like this just started second season a couple weeks ago, 
and so you can catch up on it. So I'm gonna do that. Is it only the second season? Yeah. Yeah. Well, about like a couple episodes into the second season. I feel like it's been on for a couple of years. So I, I had tried to record it. Yeah. I remember setting a DVR uh, thing to record the series, and then it just never did for whatever reason. So there was some some glitch, and it never started. And so <laughs> then it was like I didn't even know I, I didn't even know it had started at that point because mm -hmm. it never started recording. And then I was already like it was a month into it, and I never went back. Yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those things like. I always saw it, and like, I was like, oh, it's cool. Like, I like shows about, you know, superheroes. Mm -hmm. and it's like DC, DC superheroes, and it's kind of cool. But, like, of all the characters, it's like Green Arrow. It's like, okay, cool, yeah, sure. So, but I, I think I caught, like, the first episode. It wasn't that great. But. Does he shoot a lot of arrows? In the, he does, uh, actually. Is it, like, a large percentage of the show shooting it's arrows? It's not a large percentage of the show, but when it was action, usually he's, there's arrows involved, or his uh, bow, so. Hmm. Smack people with his bow. It's pretty awesome. Some bow smacking. Uh -huh. Yeah. You think, like, so bullets, they mass produce them all over the place. It, it's kind of difficult to track where a bullet comes from unless you match it like to the gun it was fired from, right? So if you have a stack of bullets. So if he's got a ton of arrows, is he making them like himself? Is he ordering? Yeah, is he he's going, making them himself, yeah. Like, do you get a little suspicious? Like he keeps coming down to Big Five every week <laughs> or whatever and like trying to order. I think he makes like super like special like arrows. Mm -hmm. Like they're better than your average arrow. Yeah. Well, what does he use even? I want to make some arrows sometimes. Yeah, yeah, they don't want you to recreate the scenes, so yeah. I can tell you. <laughs> I'm going to show you like him like wielding it. And that's about it. So. Yeah, <laughs> they don't want to have to include a "do not try this yeah. at home." Yeah. <laughs> I need a, at least a paragraph describing <laughs> how to make. I need an ten arrow. little paragraphs. Yeah. Oh, this show, uh, this show has nothing for me, oh. obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, is it? Does it compare to anything else? Is it good? Is it? I mean, it's sort of like is it Smallville. Uh, it's a little bit like darker than Smallville, which I feel dumb saying that, but um. I mean, it's more like a little more intense, a little mm -hmm. more action than Smallville. I mean, that's the only really like show you compare it to because it's like the other only like CW superhero show besides Birds of Prey, but that was in long off the air. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know. The story's kind of weird because it's kind of like it's sort of like just a Batman story, kind of. Mm -hmm. It's like he's this rich kid, like rich kid, and then like some trauma happens, and he learns to become like a better person, than a hero, and then like go back to his town, and, like avenges his like right all the wrongs in his town that like his family helped like create. And so it's kind of just like, I mean, besides like his like folks dying or whatever, it's kind of just like, sort of just like the Batman story with arrows. So, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, essentially. And like without like cool villains. So. Mm -hmm. Without the cool villains? I mean, well, yeah, I mean, they're Batman villains. Batman villains are pretty cool. So, mm -hmm. arrows are like rich industrial like guy, and it's like, okay, okay it's whatever. Yeah. So, that's uh -huh. uh, pretty yeah. cool. That, I mean, um, shield, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, it slowly gets better every episode, so that's cool. Yeah. Um, I, I watched this week's episode, but I've missed, I think, like, the three before that that I didn't really watch. Like, How did you do that? That's kind of weird. Because well, like, I, was, I wasn't enjoying it. I stopped oh, really? watching. Yeah, and somebody said that it's getting better, so then I'm like, okay, well, so I watched this week. And it seemed, I mean, it seemed okay. It seemed like it was getting... <laughs> They're doing uh, things. Like a, like a little... Why didn't you like it? Why didn't you like it? <clears throat> it seemed, like, campy. Like, it was... Nobody talks as sarcastic and, and, and quippy yeah. as Coulson does all the time. And every character had all these like sharp remarks fast that everybody was suddenly well, it was like, kind of like I mean it's like Joss Whedon, right? So like didn't he like help write it or something? But it seemed like everybody was molded off of Coulson. Like everybody okay. had the same personality type that everybody was with the quick comebacks and the Well in their defense remarks. though they are like a team specifically chosen by him to do it. So I think you want to be strong people that were like him. So <laughs> Not like a dumb guy or like something. Isn't it like Coulson as as the character is so full yeah. of himself that he <laughs> assembled personality so, tests. So the I'm, I'm, I'm completely wrong by, <laughs> yeah. by shitting on it by saying that like it's dumb. They all sound alike. That it was just written poorly. <laughs> that yeah, Matt, Joss sorry. Whedon went so far <laughs> as to develop a character. You should have thought about this better. Yeah. Matt. Sorry, sorry. Your argument, your you argument's know. invalid. Yeah, what are you <laughs> dropping the ball. Well, hey, I'm, I'm watching it again now. So yeah, I'm okay, yeah. back on for it. Yeah. You're back on. So yeah, yeah they got you. Um, I'm constantly bored by The Walking Dead on a weekly basis. Yeah. So that's a con. Yeah, that keeps happening. There's I keep thinking the show is going to get like something happened, and then nothing happens. There's some <laughs> quote from George Romero about it's a soap opera that zombies sometimes show up on. Yeah, it's kind of how it is. And like, I don't know, it's just such a. I mean, I just want something to happen. It's just like these same like characters moping around, and then something like some sort of new tragedy happens, and they mope around some more. Sometimes they get attacked by a zombie, and it's like. Did they mm -hmm. ever uh, describe why there's zombies in that one yet? Like how I think it's like a, I think zombies. it's just like a virus. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it's, it's a virus. yeah, it's a yeah. virus or disease or whatever that that's as much as they they didn't say what the cause was. Yeah, just that everybody has it. Didn't experiment mm -hmm. on the monkeys. Oh, yeah. but that's the thing. That's part of like we do spoilers and all the nonsense, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. It's yeah. so like it's like everyone's infected already. So it's as soon as you die, like you just become a zombie. 
Uh, like even that, that's like that's like one of the that was like what the season first season or second season. I think it was the end of the first season. And the first season, they like go they to, go to yeah, they go to like a science. Um, it's the uh, CDC. Yeah, they go to CDC, yeah. and they. Uh, which is which is, was a weird thing that like I get the CDC like that laboratory would be like a fortress, but like to be rigged to explode. Yeah, well, they need something exciting to happen in the show. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Like, they need but, that big explosion at the end of the season. Make yeah, it, like, it's big. so crazy yeah. to blow up that huge building instead of like right. here's this one canister that we're just <laughs> gonna <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just when the building goes to explode, they're sitting in that room, and you just quietly hear it in the back. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's got kind of this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Out here. No, um, but I mean, yeah, they need to have that really big explosion because then, like, them like escaping from the building, like barely, and this big explosion, and like I'm waiting for next season. Like, how they? What's gonna happen now? Yeah. Like, it's gonna be all sorts of zombies. And it's all like I'm all excited, and then season starts, and it's like, no, nah, there's a big explosion. That was really awesome. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Nothing but talking this season. And it's like, all right, cool. And so. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm just like every like I'm like every episode I watch. I hope it's gonna get better. I hope it's gonna happen. Yeah. And nothing does. So it's kind of just. I mean, there's like one new element, but like nothing. Well, so there's been twice that I've seen a trailer at the movie theaters, like waiting for the movie to start. They play like some clip. Twice where I've seen a trailer for something that I didn't know was to be a TV show. It was Community and Walking Walking Dead. I thought they were both gonna be movies. Okay. And I thought there was like this big feature for a movie coming yeah. out. And I remember seeing like Community and like saying like, oh, it's gonna be a really funny movie. Mm-hmm. Wait, it's a TV show? That's that's dumb. Yeah, like, this is gonna be, yeah, this like, is gonna be yeah. stupid. Whatever that it's this isn't gonna work as a as a TV series. How are you, like he's going to uh, uh, like you know some study group yeah. for a Spanish class at community. How are they gonna turn that into a TV show? And then the TV show was really funny. So yeah. I'm like, okay, well, maybe I'll be wrong about Walking Dead. And then I go walk. And I'm like, no, this would have been better as a movie, as like yeah. you know, well, yeah, I guess. Well, at least the way they're doing right, it, right, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. like they're dragging out all of the excitement mm-hmm. and everything that it's just taking <laughs> so long for something to happen. The Dragon Ball Z of zombie, <laughs> <laughs> zombie dramas, yeah. dramas. <laughs> yeah. The Dragon Ball Z of zombie dramas, yeah. There's a lot of people looking longingly at each other for like an hour, and then like something happens. Mm-hmm. It'll be a. Uh, there's then no, continue next episode. There's not enough like close-ups of eyes. Yeah, <laughs> not enough yelling on the show. Yeah. Yelling power words. But is that sort of like the <laughs> the problem that a lot of shows have when they have like a big cast? Is that you know even like with heroes or whatever, there's so many people involved. It's hard to advance the plot when you have to touch bases with so many people. But I mean, the there's no there's no like rule saying you have to touch base with every character. There, I mean, you can. Yeah. Leave out some characters for an episode, like maybe leave them back and like, hey, and like walk away and like, oh, there's a guy, he's still on the show. Yeah. So like, mm. I mean, I mean, there's ways to ride around big cast. I'm sure there is. I'm not a writer, so but uh, I'm sure there are ways to do that. So, yeah, I mean, you've seen at least enough TV to. I mean, is there anything that has a similar format of like large audience or a large cast member base that they need to fit in something that you know? I mean, I, I so I never watched Lost. I, right. just, I stopped after the polar bear. Uh-huh. Um, well, you missed out on like two solid seasons, and then yeah, <laughs> out of like six or seven. Yeah. But um. So when, how did how did they do it? I mean, it was. It I was, mean, that's the thing. Like they had like one episode to focus on like one character, and like everyone. I mean, well, yeah, one character mainly, but I mean, everyone else had like cameos and stuff. I mean, but I mean, some there's some episodes where the characters are just completely not you know, not on there. So, I mean, that's one way to do it. I mean, that's probably like, the best way to do it. I think, but. Yeah, I mean, everyone has, like, but I mean, most TV shows, everyone has, like, one episode dedicated to that character, or, like, mm-hmm. you know, like, the central focus, something happens to them, or, like, you know, yeah. yeah. So. But, yeah, I just, that's really about it on TV shows, I got nothing else. Yeah. What about Matt? What's Matt been watching? Uh, what have I been watching? I mean, all these, you know, ABC, whatever, staples of, like, the Modern Family and all no, that, have just been stuff. getting, yeah, yeah, those have been getting good. That's um, fine. It's, um, it's, it's. It's odd watching this season, especially with like Modern Family, is like all of the young actors, like all the guys in the way, like their voices are changing. Oh yeah, and they're yeah. still like there's this weird point where they're trying to keep them like young, but they're clearly not that like that little kid. Mm-hmm. So it's it's that uh, with the Cindy Brady like right. you know um, complex or whatever mm-hmm. of like you know Cindy's like 15 years old, acting like she's five still, and Cindy might have a learning disability, <laughs> you know. So yeah. And just trying to you know see how they do the evolution. Or I think they're doing a really good job because they they'll make like the son Luke seem like this idiot, and then suddenly like you find out he's running some scam the whole time, yeah. or that he's like trying to get the you know get a date with some girl or whatever. But they yeah. make it seem like he's you know going to run around with a bucket on his head for the rest <laughs> of the season. And yeah. <laughs> but I think we need more characters like that on TV though. Characters with buckets on their heads. With buckets on their heads. Yeah. More it's comedic bucket. relief. Yeah. Yeah. Edited. Yeah. Whoa. Um, just make a noise. Um, <laughs> have. Uh, are you watching anything else, Dave? 
Me? Yeah. Dave does not watch TV. Mm-hmm. I watch uh, if ancient, he does, it's, yeah. ancient Aliens. Mm-hmm. That's about all I get. Yeah. As I like to walk around town and talk talk to people mm-hmm. about weird stuff and just say, yeah. according to ancient aliens, uh, theorists, <laughs> uh-huh. and they're... <laughs> you yell at trees and stuff, too, while you're out there? Yeah, yeah. and the small mm-hmm. animals and stuff. But yeah. I don't, that's I don't, really good. I've only ever watched like a, a couple of the episodes, and I watched them like late at night, and it was like yeah. kind of sp- spooky, watching, like yeah. the, you know, getting into it, getting kind of kind of weirded out by like the weird things they're they're planning. But no, oh, I love yeah. all that stuff. Because uh, there's another show that's like, um, uh, it's America Uncovered, hmm. and, the, and the guys going around like pointing out like all these like weird things of like there's this old like Masonic like temple that's like buried in this guy's backyard that whenever they dug it out, you can see like there's like an altar. And then here's a hole that lines up with the moon at this particular type of year, and then that line goes straight across the world over to Phoenicia, where yeah. like it was like the early like humans were developing and things like that. That it's like crazy stuff that like <laughs> I'm not there doing the science, so I don't know if it's true, but that's really like <laughs> but I'm sure I it's can't, accurate. Really I can't explain it like coincidental. Yeah, yeah, you know. And then it was like Stonehenge that there's like another marker that, and they went to like some random kid using Google Earth. They said that he took like looked at these two points and then they make a line from A to B and it also goes to Phoenicia. So like there are all these points around the globe that all line up with them that it's like <laughs> that any crazy person with a marker or <laughs> math couldn't figure out. Yeah, you, yeah, you said <laughs> and a straight edge. Just, yeah, it took yeah. Google Earth yeah. for them to figure it out. But you know, yeah, I mean it's it's uh it's crazy just the random things you start to see when you stare at something long enough. But, no, no, that's true, yeah. and uh, I, it's because I like to listen to to. Uh, Coast to coast, AM overnight, <laughs> oh, yeah. like all the time. But I'm, I was more of a fan of it when they had uh, Art Bell on there. It was more of an interesting show, and he kind of like let it loose a little more. Now it kind of gets into, I don't know, some stuff that I don't really like. Kind of things like uh, angels and good luck and numerology and all these things. I'm like, what? I don't got time for numerology. I need to hear about aliens right now. Yeah. I need, I need to hear about Nazi scientists doing wag experiments. Yeah. I do. Uh-huh. No, you, you reminded me, though. I did huh. I did think of a show that I've actually liked recently that I watched. That I think you guys should watch. It's a uh, military history show <laughs> where they have dog fights, and it's like they recreate, like, with a computer, you know, beautiful graphics of these dog fights that happened <laughs> back in the day. It was, that's, that's neat. I never stopped to sit down and, like, think about that, but... Human beings <laughs> flying around at these How crazy do airplanes speeds, flight, yeah. mm-hmm. shooting at each other. It's just nuts. Yeah, it is nuts. I mean, it's not really different than two guys hanging out like in the hood, like throwing rocks at each other necessarily. But it's like the super amped up version of that. Which, gosh, uh, when you think about it, I mean, the planes have only been around for you know, 20, 30 years. I know, at only that a point. little yeah. blip in time. Yeah. Like it was as soon as they got something that wasn't gonna fall apart and crash, they yeah. put it into service. You know, it was like it wasn't even model, you know, eight, like you know the um, like eight point, you know, eight point oh, whatever the version that it was out. It was like one. It was one. It was like yeah, this well, one works. Go. Half they, of, they, half they of me is like yeah. this is so horrific and yeah. crazy. And why would you use all that technology and all that effort and money to just shoot each other? But then the other half of me is like, why aren't they doing this all the time? Like, how come I can't go out and mm-hmm. <laughs> go to the races and see dudes, yeah. like, flying jets and blowing each other up? Mm-hmm. That would be kind of cool, actually. Right. Do, you you want to go out and actually watch, like, a dog a real fight? Dog like, fight, a yeah. real dog fight? Yeah, I don't want to be standing yeah. on a hill and, like, eating popcorn and it, watching. It, yeah. <laughs> it's dangerous enough to go yeah, to an to go air go, like, show like, where they're show. not supposed yeah. to collide. Like, people die all the time. That like, you want to go to a show where somebody's going to die. Like, well, you like, know, I know it's going to happen. I like his idea of it's, like, just, like... No frills like uh, reality TV. It's that's you know what I mean. There's yeah. no lies about it. It's just straight yeah. honest. Like someone's gonna die, and it's like that. Well, if you choose to watch it, you're the yeah. bad person, but I'm still making it. So well, that's like yeah. the Running Man or whatever. Yeah, where yeah. It's all I mean, that, you know. You know. Yeah. But I mean, it's just to me, like reality TV as it goes, and it's like a, you know, this is all the like uh, editing tricks and like all everything scripted, and you know, have it's like fake, whatever. Uh-huh. But I'm thinking honestly, if there's a real live dog fight, I'm like, yeah, I just more I like the idea of that better. So. I don't know. I mean, that stuff's out there. Talk about you know random video sites on the internet or whatever. Like yeah. there's one. that kind of stuff. The other side of the internet side's funny. If you cat videos, it's like the violent. These cat are like videos. yeah. These yeah. are like people getting beheaded. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's so, like no, that's really yeah. gross and weird. Lol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it's uh, I don't know. It, it's I don't know. I just it's a cool show. That's that's that, going back to the, as a going back to your dog that's, that's, no, that's what you need the uh, 
the holodeck for so you can go on and watch that kind of stuff and and, and you see that's yeah. the one time that i'd be like all right holodeck's a good idea let's yeah. Do this. yeah yeah until it goes Put on, on my the helmet, let's do this. and the <laughs> yeah. propeller comes and takes you out yeah so. yeah no that's gonna yeah it's gonna be really bad because i'll be out there well there will be like one time I'm like it'll happen i'll be like dog fighting why do you think about dog fighting it's like i should call dave no nope. and then walk away yeah. <laughs> i'll go do dog fighting thing click and yeah, yeah. And the propeller <laughs> Just being a starship above it, flying around, you know. It's a trap! <laughs> Non-stop just view, yeah. yeah. Um, so are there any movies uh, coming out? Anything, any trailers or anything you've seen recently? Have you seen Thor yet? Yeah. Did you like it? Um, I, I enjoyed it while I was sitting there. And then, you know, of, as of course I usually do, I enjoy it while I'm in the theater and then start right. poking holes in it once you leave. Did you uh, go see an IMAX 3D? I did not, no. Let go, man. <laughs> Way to not be a no town nerd. Well, so um, the way uh, Rocky pointed this out afterwards of like, I thought it was cool. Yeah, they kept going between the different realms, and it's like, right. well, why did we only see three? Aren't there nine? It's like, yeah, was like the they're all they're ones. all supposed to be in alignment. Like we saw like four of them. I think there was that one that was like the hill, <laughs> and the one Chinese guy, and then the one, the one like <laughs> Baron from yeah. uh, the elves and Earth, and a there little was bit a frozen Asgard. place, the Iceland. Yeah, yeah, wasn't yeah, like, that one of them? Level six in Mario Land. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. It just seems like we should have seen all of them at some point. There should have been some. They're saving flash. it. Maybe they can only get to like certain ones right now. No. They're saving no, I, I'm sorry. Jeez, no. Matt. Yeah. You got to think about these movies more. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but I mean, it was, it was cool. I, I liked no, yeah. it, you know. Well, yeah, I actually really liked it a lot. I, There's a lot of comedy in it. There's a, a, yeah. lot of, a lot of laughs. Which is... I think what I like about Marvel movies is that like they're like there's always a constant sense of like you know danger or whatever and adventure and fun, mm -hmm. but it's fun. Yeah. They're like they're funny like they don't take themselves like too seriously. And I mean and they say some like really wacky stuff like they're all looking for like you know magical sticks to control people and stuff. Yeah. There's the Hulk. <laughs> I mean but I mean it's it's uh, and that's why I like about them. And then so talking about this whole thing we went to go see Thor. Of course they played all the trailers beforehand. We saw the five minutes of Captain America which was mm -hmm. awesome. And then um, oh. they played. I went, I went the minute I missed that. I'm telling the story. I, I missed it. I didn't get to see the five minutes. Don't spoil the five minutes. Well, Captain America's in it, so spoiler alert. Oh, yeah, I know. I had run it for you. You know, Thor is better than Captain America because in Thor, all the hot guys have long hair, and it's just more like real life. <laughs> it's true. All the hot guys and that's have why, And that's why Thor is better than Captain America? Yeah. 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 That's it. That's, right the, on, that's the key. Uh, that's, uh, that's perfect. No, no, um, but no, then we saw the, then they played that trailer for the next one movie, mm -hmm. and... Um, cautiously optimistic but at the same time it's like that trailer takes itself like way too seriously it's like there's all this stuff and I understand like I mean Days of Future Past is a sad story and it's really intense but I mean it's like this trailer just like doesn't make me want to watch it mm -hmm. it's like I'm gonna go like they're all crying and yelling it's like this is the next movie I'm seeing like punch big stuff in the face like robots and yeah. but this is like there's like no hope in the future and everything's Snick like super snake. like and I'm like man that's, that's a drag and then like I see Captain America and it's like I'm jumping up and like yelling and screaming like yeah like push that guy in the face and like there's a thing, and it's, like, really awesome. And then I just have, like, after I see that trailer for Captain America, it's like, that looks like so much fun. Like, I want to go, like, and I'll see it in, like, an IMAX 3D and pay way too much money. And, but it's, like, I feel really good. And the next movie, the next movie trailer, after the trailer, it's just, like, I don't know, it's kind of downbeat. It's, like, I should call my mom. Just, uh, <laughs> like, I don't want it to be future with mutants or something. So. Well, isn't that really, like, what the two movies are? I mean, Captain America is this, you know, star-spangled hero that, right. you know, everything is, is supposed to be kind of positive around him. And, and but, I mean, they're in the same universe, and that's, like, I think they're, they're applying different, because, I mean, like, not just the Captain America trailer. I mean, like, mm -hmm. all the trailers, like, all the Marvel movies, they're always, like, they're really exciting. There's lots, there's lots of, like, action. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, they're also really fun. Like, every trailer you see, like, you know, you see some action, there's some, like, a little bit of, like, you know, drama, like, oh, I'm going to get attacked. But there's also, like, there's, like, a joke in there, and that's really cool. And that, like, mm -hmm. sort of, like, I'm sure it gets, like, a bigger audience or a bigger... Uh, well, a wider range of audience people that really want to see it, as opposed to like a really like, you know, like depressing like X Men trailer. Where like, I don't know, there's nothing about that trailer like sold me on it that I was like really like this is gonna be cool. It's kind of just like I'm gonna check it out. But what about yeah. Beast flying a plane? Yeah, it seems like it's gonna be <laughs> epic. Like it's, it's just gonna be like. But nothing about that like, trailer struck me as being epic as much. I mean, like as much as they, I mean, yeah, they have that weird like drop toss like oh the future's doomed. But I mean, it's like I nothing on there will show me like a giant like. Nothing got me excited, I guess, out of the trailer. Mm -hmm. is what and we like. really don't know how much. I mean, everything we see in that right. trailer could be all that you see in the movie of right. the past. So it's five minutes of, like, things are bad, and then they go back in time, and the rest of it's all spent in the 60s or whatever, 70s. No, I mean, I understand, but I'm just, I mean, nothing about that trailer just got me excited at all. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing, like, I was like, yeah, X movie, it's kind of, eh. yeah. There's some people, and they have the old ones now, and now, you know, the 
uh, was it first class guys mm. and then new guy or the old guys. But it's just the general sense of yeah, and mm. as the X Men movies, because I know like they're really cool when they came out because they were it's X Men. Like it's like one of the first comic movies where we're like yeah, the X Men yeah. like it's really mm. cool. Like I grew up with the X Men. Um, but then like after like you know three of those ones, they like got kind of like they weren't like really fun. You know, and I always felt like as a kid like watch X Men like they're like yeah X Men are cool like they're like yeah. you know. I always watched the cartoon, and I understand there's obviously going to be a, a translation, you know, lost translation between cartoon and like real life movie, but it's, I just don't think, uh, yeah, I just don't like now like if it's on TV like I don't even bother to watch it. It's like yeah, let's change it. Like, yeah, I've I, never, I mean I watch it like when the movie theater one time, like maybe like twice after I got like on DVD or whatever, but I never go back to it. But like if there's a Marvel movie on, even like Iron Man one, like I'll put in a couple like oh this is a cool part where he's gonna like yeah, it's something that happens to be funny. I think so. it's like what we're lo- hoping for, and when we watch this stuff, is them to use the powers. You want to see, you know, yeah. Yeah. Cyclops, you know, punch a hole in some guy, you know, and like stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. you just, you want to see Magneto, you know, picking stuff up and um, moving, you know, th- throwing yeah, cars yeah. at people, you know, and, and stuff like that. But like, you really don't see that a lot, especially in like the first one or whatever. There's a lot of dialogue. Right. Things. I mean, this is just my feelings, like based off the trailer. I mean, but it's, that's all I have to go off of. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's kind of well, that plus the history of Brian Singer X Men movies. So there's that in that count too. But a quitter, and go quitter to make a <laughs> crappy Superman movie. Well, I guess yeah, Superman and then movie nothing, and then like even like Brian Singer, like it was like on the trailer, like a director, whatever, of Usual Suspects and like X Men. Mm-hmm. It was like those movies are like really old. Well, not really old, but I mean like why would you call something like your very first movie you made until like you know what I mean? It's just nothing that he's done since then has been like really. I mean I have to have like the things done since then. So yeah. even X Men movies, like now I say like as I go back and watch them, like these aren't. I'm not super random, mm. but what about Wolverine? Wolverine's fun. I mean, they're not great, but they're fun just because you like Wolverine and like going around chopping stuff up. I mean, that's why I went. Like, that's why I went to go see what was it? A uh, Wolverine Two or Wolverine Origins or what's called? Um, the one that just came out like what was it? Like a month ago? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, it's still like yeah. I mean, no matter what, it's still <laughs> fun to. Still seen that. Yeah. So, so no matter what, it's still like fun just to go watch and do stuff and like you know be Wolverine because mm-hmm. Hugh Jackman is totally just Wolverine. Yeah. Same thing like Rob Downey Jr. is just. Iron Man, he's always going to be Iron Man, so. I want to hear Wolverine sing Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can just, like, go online and find it, find it somewhere. Yeah. Wow. There's going to be some behind the scenes, something mm. or other. If him acting, oh, like, if him acting silly oh, and, like, the Wolverine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not the word. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even listen to things? Yeah. What do you, no? Yeah. <laughs> you just know words. And... I'm a musician, damn it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can say that. I can say I'm a doctor. It's not true. <laughs> yeah. Um. I want to say there was a, a trailer I saw the other day, and I can't remember what it was. I thought it was kind of awesome. I'm trying to see. Let's go on here. Um, so there's a Lego movie that's coming out. Yeah, I saw a trailer for that. It looks, actually, it looks really funny. Yeah. Um, it's got, uh, what's the name? Parks and Rec, the Guardians of the Galaxy, the... Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, that guy. Right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, who that is. <laughs> I don't know. If only I could. If only it's a database online, yeah. I was gonna. Ask, yeah. <laughs> uh, Chris Pratt. Oh, okay. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Wait, is, is it, it really Chris Pratt? Yeah, Chris Pratt. Is, is he the main guy, right? Yeah. The Will Ferrell, yeah. Elizabeth Banks, Will Arnett, Nick oh. Offerman, Allison. Uh, Will Arnett's gonna be a uh, Batman. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, Charlie Day, Liam Neeson, and Morgan Freeman. It's just such a random group of people. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it, I don't know. It seems like it, they haven't. Has there been a Lego Movie before? I don't like think a, so. I think they but do what's, cartoons. But what's the plot? Is that they're toys, and that's it. Like it's really like there's no. Do you need more than that? No? Well, no. I just mean that like there <laughs> they made a movie like, about Battleship for God's sake. Yeah. But but that had a plot. It was it was because Battleship doesn't even. Inc- it's a game. It's based off a board game. I mean, yeah, you can add like you don't need like. But they created like the aliens and things like that. So right. I mean, like this is just it's literally like things fall apart and they build them back together. Whatever in the trailer, like it's literally just like. Yeah, that's cool. Legos. I think it's cool. But Legos in themselves don't have a plot. Like they have. You know, like there isn't anything that happens. Well, there's different like collections that I'm sure have plots. Lucy, yeah. like, but there's that, bad guys. Well, and that's good why guys. there was like a spaceship that ba- <laughs> Batman's I mean, yeah. flying. I think yeah. it's funny. I think no. it's funny. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be <laughs> interesting to see what happens because it just was like I couldn't figure out what was going on. It was just so silly and like they're just making jokes and random things are happening. Yeah, but it should be cool. Yeah. Know. Legos. Legos. Yeah. I was still waiting for that Candyland movie to come out. That was like the first rumor I ever heard of, like of a board game really? movie. Was like Candyland. No, I'd watch that. Yeah, I have very fond memories of playing Candyland. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how the hell I would make that a movie. I'm sure they'll figure something out. They'll figure yeah. it out. I mean, they make movies like uh, the most movies that are like the most like random things now, like Pirates of mm-hmm. Caribbean. Come on, 
Mm-hmm. I mean, that's his, I don't know. So, but, uh, yeah, did you see this new trailer for Noah? Uh, no, I haven't. It's yeah. the, with um, Russell Crowe's in it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The biblical Noah? Yeah. The it, biblical Noah? Yeah. All right, but I'm it, not touching this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I don't know, it's the, the 300 of <laughs> biblical movies. Of biblical yeah. movies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's really, it's um, uh, Russell Crowe and Emma Watson's in it, and yeah, like, it's, he has these visions of the world ending, and, and then, but suddenly, like, there's this army that wants to come and destroy his ark. Yeah. And and you have to, like, defeat him with, like... Yeah, like, like... They're going to ruin my one and only favorite story from the Bible <laughs> after <laughs> Moses and... Yeah. The Book of Revelation. Weird... With the slave what? girl. What? <laughs> you guys, come on. You can't keep making things up. Um, yeah, no, but... Uh, Revelations Noah, is pretty wicked, too. Yeah. And dragons and stuff. Anyway, so this is not the story that you remember. This I mean, isn't your daddy's Noah? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's going to kick ass and like, take names for the Lord. I don't he, he really, yeah. I this mean, seems this seems like you're, you're like Josh and me. This isn't real. No, I, it's this a is real. Like, I, understand, yeah. like, I understand this like, the movie. I get it. But I mean, yeah. that's, he really is like, going to fight off an army. Does he wear a yeah. bandolier? So they don't show <laughs> him, I think, necessarily th- you know, thrown down with anybody. But like, there is an army that shows up to the Ark to fight him. I hope like God intervenes some sort of like, lightning bolt or something. Yeah. And who's the army? Like, who are we gonna like? like <laughs> who's gonna stop Noah from building the ship? <laughs> so this, this is going against the him. Spartans show up and they have to fight for Middle Earth. <laughs> but yeah, it's I don't know. It's is this be... one of those banned from the Bible books that I heard about <laughs> those on lost ancient scrolls. aliens? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's going full circle now. <laughs> yeah, and then what about Josh Brolin as the uh, old boy? Uh. Initially, I heard of the remake, and I'm like, yeah. But I mean, that's how I feel about all remakes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then it was what's it, uh, Spike Lee, right? Yeah. Which is already just like what? So, but now I guess. So the trailer, the trailer looks pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I heard that they're gonna change the ending though, so I don't know how I feel about that. Like, and it seems like to me like the ending's like such like the old original one. It's such like a like a. You don't even see it coming type of thing, mm-hmm. and it finally happens like oh, and then all these uncomfortable feelings about his daughter and stuff and whatever. And I don't see that translating really well to like. You know, the uh, uh, American remake, or yeah. yeah. I mean, I just don't know like what they're gonna do because they're gonna change it. But it's just like, unless there's like some other like I can possibly think of a better, um, like twist ending kind of, mm-hmm. not the way like the original one was. So, but it's pretty cool. I'll check it out. Yeah, there was another, whatever remake I was hoping for was uh, Akira. That was supposed to be an no, no American way. remake, or at least a live a live action version. That'd be terrible. I know, I just, uh, that almost be as bad as yeah. they're doing the Noah. The Ark stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really good. it's got that weight as your your childhood of hearing these it stories. It kind of does right, actually. Yeah. Like to me, like I hear that theme song, you're like, oh, I'm excited. Like they released the uh, the Blu-ray, uh, 25th anniversary Blu-ray of Akira on um, mm-hmm. Tuesday, and I drove to a couple places to try to find it, and you couldn't couldn't find it. Mm-hmm. And I hate buying stuff online because I hate the internet. So uh, Eric, say, go first. Say your goodbyes. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't really know how you want to end this one. Or do we just like? No, I mean that's it. We can just you know we've been sitting here for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Way uh, too long. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so we wait. talked about the the internet and animal videos and. Oh, there you go. You got the glasses on. Yeah. Now. Do you need your your, your stinger? Time, time for the show to be over now. Your glasses are on. Yeah. Your stinger. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> that's a terrible yeah. stinger. You got to do the. <laughs> you you, you got to say looks like time's up and then put your glasses on. Uh, no, no, please not do that. <laughs> Is time it, about up? No, that's wrong. No, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put <laughs> them on. You're yeah. a terrible talent. Yeah. So we're running out of time. Do we have a minute left? No. Oh, oh. So you gotta, you gotta do your like your your CSI with David Caruso line of, I don't know. There's gotta be some like stupid pun, hmm. where it's like, you know, the guy was killed when the the clock fell and crushed his head. Like it looks like time was up. Oh, his time was gosh. up or something like that. Like it was waits the last hour of the show trying to explain how to end the show. Yeah. And it's probably, it's like probably over right now. <laughs> yeah. And you was probably explaining the set of that joke to Dave. <laughs> Don't you, fuck with Noah's Ark. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Send me the address to the people who are making that movie <laughs> and I will go slap him in the face. <laughs>